Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps you need to go through to get your M2 NVMe SSD ready for Windows installation. And if you like me who had issues with the M2 drive not visible to Windows installer and you've been trying to figure out how to do this, this is video for you. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the like button if you like this video. So maybe this video is going to help other people as well. Okay, so step number one, make sure guys you unplug every hard drive, every SSD drive and even the optical drive for your CDs and DVD if you have it in your computer still. Make sure you unplug all those connections so that your computer only sees your M2 SSD drive. That's step number one. Step number two we're gonna have to log into the BIOS. If you start your computer, you just gotta press the Dell button and it will bring you into the BIOS. It usually shows up the easy mode. So we have to go here at the right bottom corner, go to advanced mode. Here in the advanced mode, you can see the different tabs. You gotta go to the boot menu. Then you gotta scroll down and at the very bottom you can see the compatibility support module click on that make sure where it says launch CSM make sure it's disabled because if it's enabled or if it's on auto you might, might run into the issues where M2 SSD drive is not visible by your Windows installer then you gotta go back and scroll back down, go to the secure boot. That's going to be your step number three, where it says OC type. Right now it says Windows UEFI mode. You got to choose other OS. And this is only temporary, so you got to choose this other OS. And then after you get the Windows installed on your SSD, you can come back into the BIOS and change it back to the Windows but you won't be able to install your Windows without changing it to the other OS. I think it's because the M2s are pretty much new uh, new, hard, new drives and they have to be like the motherboards were not really compatible with all the new features that they came out with, especially with the new one that uh, called uh, NVMe, which is the fastest one, the newest one. So this is why I have to follow all these steps. So you got to change to o other OS. Then you got to go back and you press the F10 button. And it's going to ask you to save the changes. You got to click OK. And after that, you're going to be able to install Windows on your M2 SSD drive. After you do that, and Windows already installed, you can plug in your hard drives, your optical drives back on, and then you can come into the settings here in the BIOS again, and you can change this secure boot OS type back to Windows. Okay guys, so these are the main steps, and as well you can also make sure if uh, your hard drive, if you have a few different hard drives, you can go back to your uh, boot priority, which is in easy mode. You can go here in the right uh, bottom corner. And if you have multiple hard drives, like you can see here, I got multiple hard drives. You can set up the priority of uh, how they uh, launch in. Uh, and this is all here, but I only got one that, that actually has uh, uh, Windows installed on it, so I don't need to do that. All right, guys, well, if you like this video and if it helps you, please like it and subscribe to the channel. And uh, hopefully have a nice day and see you later in the further videos. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.